Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And for the past couple of years, I've been really interested in aerial photography. And what I've been using primarily for my rig is the DJI Phantom 2 with the Zenmuse gimbal coupled with a GoPro Hero 4 Black. It gives me full 4K video capturing capabilities for all of my aerial photography needs. And I'm really interested to see how this system compares against the brand new Phantom 3 professional that has that built-in 4k camera now i've been using the new phantom 3 for the past couple of weeks now and it's been really really fun using the drone and i want to see how it compares against my old rig that i used to use and uh, perhaps some of you guys are out there that are wanting to get into the aerial photography space and are considering to go the uh, older generation route of getting the phantom 2 for a good deal and then getting a gopro hero 4 or some of you guys might be interested in seeing how the all-encompassing integrated solution is on the new Phantom 3 Professional and see what the video quality differences are between that uh, built-in camera and the one we have on the Hero 4 Black. So if you're interested in seeing how these two uh, drone setups compare against each other in terms of video quality, flight capabilities is a perfect video for you. So without any further ado, let's get right into this. Now in terms of the dimension and design, basically uh, the Phantom 3 is pretty much identical to the Phantom series that we've been encountering for the last couple of years from DJI. Now the uh, Phantom 2 is certainly no exception. They both measure about 290 millimeters by 290 millimeters and uh, they're both about uh, 180 millimeters in terms of its height. So there's no real physical differences between the two and uh, they both have the same uh, four-way quadrocopter kind of configuration in terms of the propellers. The propellers propellers are also the same size and they're also interchangeable. What is different though is the prop motors themselves. They're completely revamped and even though they're like very similar, there is a difference in terms of how much power they can output and that is going to translate to faster overall speeds. Technically speaking, the new Phantom 3 can travel at a faster space in terms of its horizontals travel at around 16 meters per second versus the older generation Phantom 2 could do about 15 meters per second. In terms of its a maximum ascending speed it's actually been limited to five meters per second versus the phantom 2 was six meters per second but the descent speed has been increased to three meters per second versus two meters per second on the phantom 2 so in most regards you can bypass some of these restrictions if you go to full manual mode but you definitely have to be an expert and be careful when you're flying in full manual mode because you'll get very little assistance from the flight computer now in terms of weight differences basically our dga I, Phantom 2 with the GoPro Hero 4 and the Zenmuse uh, gimbal measures around uh, 1,320 grams, so about 1.3 kgs, versus where about 1,280 grams on the Phantom 3 Professional with everything included. So a little bit lighter in terms of its overall carrying capacity, which may help in terms of battery life and overall maneuverabilities, but although that's not much of a difference there. And speaking of battery life, let's actually talk about the new Phantom 3's uh, battery even though it looks identical to the Phantom 2's battery, it's actually quite different internally. It's using a lot higher voltage, so we're up to a 15.2 volts versus 11.1 volts on the Phantom 2 battery. Now the capacity, interesting, is a little bit lower on the Phantom 3, about 4480 milliamp hours versus about 5200 milliamp hours on the Phantom 2, but that won't really make a huge difference. We're still getting a lot more voltage, which is the main concern for your flight times and things like that. Now the other cool thing about the new Phantom 3 3 is that it comes with a 100 watt uh, charger that charges quite a bit faster than the older Phantom 2 and even faster than the Phantom 3 Advanced that doesn't have the 4K capabilities. So that's one other difference between the Advanced and the Professional. You do get that faster charger, which is definitely nice. I experienced a full charge just within uh, 30 to 40 minutes, which is uh, definitely a nice improvement and uh, certainly comes handy all the time. In terms of flight times, we can get into what the specifications are. But since we have both drones on hand, let's go ahead and do a couple of different runs and just kind of average the amount of minutes I got on each run. We made sure that all of the different runs were as consistent as possible so there's a very little variability in terms of most things but again things are not always perfect but after about 10 runs the Phantom 2 with the Zenmuse gimbal powering the GoPro Hero 4 got around 18 minutes 35 seconds and about 22 minutes 41 seconds was the average runtime of the Phantom 3 Professional so you can see that about 
four to three minutes uh, may not sound much on paper, but in the air, every second really counts. Now in terms of the communication range, the maximum distance you can be away from your drone on the Phantom 2 is about one kilometer, about 1,000 meters. And again, you want to be in a clear outdoor environment with a line of sight. On the Phantom 3, in ideal conditions, you can actually go up to two kilometers, which is very impressive and probably more than enough for most aerial photographers out there. Now in terms of sensors, both of these two drones have a GPS technology built in, so they uh, both monitor where the drone is in terms of space and time, and it also has return to home features, which is uh, definitely nice. We actually have a dedicated return to home button on the Phantom 3 controller versus the Phantom 2 controller. You can just turn off the controller and it'll uh, by default uh, head back to where it launched from, which is definitely a nice feature. They're both pretty accurate in terms of the GPS technology that they're using. Of course, uh, the uh, Phantom 3 is using a newer electronics, so it might be a little bit more accurate and faster in terms of getting all the different satellites. Uh, furthermore, one other big thing about the Phantom 3 is that we have two new sensors at the bottom of the actual drone itself. We have a set of ultrasound sensors that measures how far away the drone is from the ground. Additionally, it has an optical flow sensor, which is essentially a little camera that recognizes a unique patterns on the ground itself. And by using those patterns, it can kind of track its movements and uh, basically maintain a specific position without having to rely on the GPS signal itself. These two sensors make it great for flying the drone indoors, something that the Phantom 2 was a little bit challenging at, especially without a GPS signal. Now, as a result of this technology, the hovering deviation and movements vertically and horizontally is a lot less on the Phantom 3. It'll stay in one position and hold it there a lot more consistently than the Phantom 2, both in terms of its vertical and horizontal positions. And uh, basically what that means is when you're at a specific hover, you're going to have a much more stable platform on the Phantom 3, even with uh, pretty powerful winds at your disposal and the cool thing is you can even take time-lapse photography and long exposure shots and you can have uh, the uh, camera just rock steady in that formation because of those sensors and improved uh, internal GPS processing compared to the Phantom 2. Now that's all fine and dandy the whole reason why we're doing this comparison is for the camera quality itself how does the Phantom 3 professional 4k camera compare against the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition and in terms of the features themselves they're fairly similar in terms of stills capability both can do uh, 12 megapixel stills and uh, they can uh, shoot in uh, raw formats. In terms of the video capabilities, both cameras can do 4K at a 30 FPS, which is uh, quite fantastic. They can also do 24 and 25 frames per second if you want a little bit more cinematic quality. And we're going to be shooting most of our 4K stuff in that format because it looks really cool at 24 frames per second. Uh, furthermore, if you shoot in full HD, you can shoot up to 60 FPS on the Phantom 3 professional versus you can go up to 120 frames per second on the GoPro Hero 4 and if you bump down the resolution to 720p you can go up to 240 frames per second on uh, the Hero 4. So in terms of some of the capabilities the GoPro Hero 4 is more of a capable camera and certainly has a lot more options in terms of uh, frame rates and uh, even resolutions because you can even shoot at 2.5k at uh, 60 fps on the Hero 4. So definitely a much more universal Universal uh, camera itself and because it's it's a standalone camera you can do a whole bunch of other things besides using it as a drone camera but as a drone camera it's definitely not bad and fairly capable with the Zenmuse gimbal. Now speaking of gimbal basically the built-in gimbal on the Phantom 3 is uh, pretty much identical in terms of the different features you're going to have on the Zenmuse gimbal. Uh, basically both gimbals can do uh, minus uh, 90 degrees to plus 30 degrees in terms of pitch. There's no other controls you can't control the uh, left to right uh, swivel movements is basically just the vertical angle of the camera themselves which is perfectly fine it's not going to be as flexible as the Inspire 1 where you have a separate operator for the camera itself and a lot more degrees of movement in that camera platform but I think for most uh, amateur and enthusiast aerial photographers uh, this uh, system will be more than adequate. Now one last thing I want to mention is that both uh, cameras actually have the capability of shooting in a more a neutral profile. So you have the ProTune feature in the Hero 4 where you can adjust some of the color parameters in uh, post-production and you have a log kind of flap 
picture profile setting on uh, the uh, Phantom 3 a 4K camera, which is nice for doing any kind of color grading and color correction uh, later on as well. So we're going to shoot uh, basically in the standard uh, kind of picture profiles on uh, both cameras to get kind of a baseline configuration. So that way you can tell just the natural differences between the two. So uh, let me stop talking over here and let's go ahead and take a look at the footage that I got off of uh, both uh, cameras and uh, see which one looks best to you guys. Now, in summary, I would definitely have to say that the Phantom 3 Professional is an excellent solution for pretty much everybody out there, whether you're a beginner or professional. In terms of the video quality that it delivers straight out of the box is absolutely sensational and it's uh, stunning sometimes on what the technology can allow, especially when it comes to the monitoring aspects of it. One of my biggest problems with uh, going with the Phantom 2 with a Zenmuse gimbal and a GoPro Hero 4 Black is that you do have to invest a couple of hundred dollars more to uh, find some kind of FPV monitoring solution that will give you battery information, flight status, and all that stuff. And that's definitely going to add to an already pretty hefty price tag of getting all those things separately. So in most cases, it's much more simpler to just get the Phantom uh, 3 Professional if you want the best quality possible at the lowest price in a simple form factor that is extremely easy to fly and gives you excellent results as you saw from our side-by-side -side comparison. Now there's no question about it if you get a Phantom 2 with a GoPro Hero 4 and have a gimbal and have the whole FPV kit there are more capabilities later down the road in terms of what you can do uh, specifically because the uh, Hero 4 is a little bit more of a capable camera in terms of all the different options that it offers in terms of resolution and frame rate there are those possibilities plus it's a Hero 4 so you can uh, slap it on to any other uh, platform and use it as a standalone camera that's one of the uh, kind of only limiting factors of the Phantom 3 that it is really dedicated for that platform but it works great for that specific platform so in both cases I could see why somebody would want to go for a uh, one rig over the other but uh, generally speaking if you're new to drones and want to get something uh, straight off the bat and want to get excellent video quality straight out of the box there's no question about it go for the Phantom 3 professional it offers fantastic video quality and it's much better than the uh, last year's solution with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus which didn't really have a great camera but it had all the different uh, setups that we've come to expect on the Phantom 3. So hopefully this video helped you out in some way. Definitely let me know what you guys think. Are you guys interested in aerial photography? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Give us a thumbs up if this video helped you out in any way and you'll find detailed information about all the products we talk about in the description down below. If you'd like to support our channel and make videos like this possible, definitely check out our Amazon uh, affiliate link down below and bookmark it if you can if you go through our links and get anything it doesn't cost you anything extra but it helps us greatly and makes videos like this possible we thank everybody that goes through our amazon links for your support it really does help us out tremendously but really other than that guys that's really it thanks again for watching we'll see you later take care